Well, here I am, another school in Townsville. It's uh, basically freezing here in Townsville. I think it's getting as low as 13 overnight, 13 degrees Celsius. I know it doesn't seem cold to you people down south, but for us, us up here in the tropics, it is extremely cold. And I think, uh, what was Thursday, was the coldest day in 22 years in Townsville. Anyway, I'm at another school here, as I stated. I'm going to have a bit of a swing. I need to get out and enjoy myself. Haven't been well lately. Uh, I have noticed there's been a few people at this school and I've asked them if they have written permission. Now they've been detecting in that and they said no, just that they thought it would be all right. Well, what they don't realise is that they may be making waves for other detectorists who've done the correct thing and have written permission, which I have. I'm not stating a uh, claim on this school, I'm just stating that basically if you don't have permission you can get the rest of us who are doing the right thing in trouble. Anyway, I'm going to start swing now and uh, swing in the coil and just see if I can find anything. As long as I'm swinging in the coil and enjoying myself, I'm happy. Anyway, hopefully I'll uh, be back soon with the first find. Well, I've picked up my first coin. It's uh, just an Aussie tw 20 cent coin, it was just under the service. But uh, hopefully it's the start of many. Anyway, gonna get back into it. Well, hopefully I've got a one or two dollar here under the coil. I'll see how I go. Won't be a tick. Well, as you can see, I've got my first Aussie dollar for the day. And hopefully uh, it's going to steadily multiply, but we can only wait and see. That one's about probably two inches down, that coin. And uh, as you can see, it was in there. And I'll sort of fill that in with a bit of grass in a minute so that no one knows I've been here. But anyway, I've uh, seemed to have uh, kept my pinpointing skill since I last detected. And uh, the old detector's doing well. So anyway, on to the next target. I'll see you later. Well, I just got my second one dollar coin for the day. So I've been here, what, possibly 15, 20 minutes. And uh, so far I've got the top off a pen, a little nut, aluminium nut, a one cent coin and two one dollar coins. So I'm not going too bad for the morning. I've definitely had worse, but uh, here's hoping uh, I can find a few more. On to the next one. Well, I just got uh, basic amounts of saying they were surface finds, but they're two, they're two Australian two cent piece coins. Now, these uh, went out of circulation in the early 90s and these two here were just sitting basically under the top cover of the grass. You can see, maybe see where the coin was just sitting there. So either they've not moved for those many years or maybe some kiddies found them at home and brought them in and dropped them. Anyway, I've recovered two more, some of the old Decimal coins of Australia, they can go in a jar when I get home with all the others. On to the next one. Well, I just got a coin here. It's a very tiny Australian one cent coin. Like I started before, the one and twos, they went out of circulation in the early 90s. But with uh, my detector, the uh, Mine Lab X Terra, these uh, one cent coins are reading in 36. Now, 36 to me is a silver ring. And these are reading in at 34, 36, so I dig them. I don't mind digging them, I've you know saved another another old coin. But there's an off chance, hopefully, that it is a silver ring. And uh, I get lucky. Now as I don't know whether you're aware of, but as I'm at a school and I've written permission to be here, if I find of anything of value, I actually take it to the uh, the headmaster and they try and find the owner. But anyway. I've got another one cent coin I can add to the growing collection, but uh, it could have been a ring. So you dig all those targets. Anyway, on to the next one. It makes me very proud to uh, see these plaques up at our schools. You know, educating the children, the next generation. 
about uh, those who have been before us and those who uh, made a supreme sacrifice in the defence of this country. I've been in the uh, Army now for over 34 years. But it makes me very, very proud to see the uh, tradition passed on. Anyway, back to detecting. Well, I've got a target here somewhere. I don't know how deep it is. Just use my fingers to move the sand out of the way. I sound like a one or two dollar coin, but like I said, I don't consider it until I've actually got it in my hand. Just run the coil over it again. Okay, it says it's up here somewhere now. Somebody's detectors fibbing to me. Here we go. One dollar coin. Another one of the kitty. Ah oh, well. Uh, it's not as long as I until I get the next one. It's been a little bit lean here today, but I've recovered a few one and two cent coins. And that's about, I think, my fourth dollar coin. But uh, beggars can't be uh, choosers, so I'll just put them in a the pocket and go looking for the next one. On we go. Well, apparently I've got another target here somewhere. I'm only probably less than 30 centimetres from where I've got the dollar. Okay, it's apparently it's here somewhere. By the uh, reading on the dial, it's 20 cent coin. Yep, thought it was. There we go, an Aussie 20 cent coin. Another one for the pocket. On to the next one. Oh, I think I might have another one or two dollar coin here. Hopefully. There we go. Another dollar coin. It hasn't been dropped that long. Our queen there. I'll lose a second. And the Centenary of Federation, 2001. It's from 1901 to 2001. So that's another good find. On to the next one. Well, it's taken a while, but I got my first $2 coin. It's only a couple inches deep. But uh, it's good to get a $2. Oh, I've got probably about five $1 coins so far and a few 20s. And a few twos and ones, but uh, the 50 cents and the 5 cents have eluded me this time so far. But I'll still give the uh, school another half an hour before I, well, before I duck off home. Anyway, I'd better get back into it. Well, as you can see, I've just scored another 20 cent coin. They seem to be quite plentiful today, and uh, I normally. Uh, don't dig them when they're so deep. This one was about five inches deep for the simple fact that I don't like damaging the soil on the school too much. But uh, I did for this one. But as you can see, I've got a fair bit of ground to cover, so I couldn't do this in a whole lifetime, I reckon. So I'm just basically going where the coil's telling me to go and just swinging it for the sake of enjoying myself. And I'm doing all right. I'm enjoying myself, and that's just all that matters, really. Anyway, I get a, better get back into it. And maybe uh, hopefully find some more of uh, his brothers and sisters. Okay, see you later. Well, I just managed to get my first 50 cent piece. Took a bit of digging too. I, uh, you know how you pinpoint sometimes, and but you're a little bit off, so you got to go probe here or dig there. So it was a case for this one. He just didn't want to be where he was supposed to be. Anyway, he's mine now. On to the next one. Anyway, I had to dig a plug for this one. Uh, here he is here. So this is my second two dollar coin. So I'm probably pretty close to maybe the ten dollar mark now. I'm not really worried. It's just that uh, when I get home I've got to put all my coins in a tumbler and because I've got about 
probably eighty, ninety dollars now. I want, to, or I need to tumble. But that two-dollar coin is another good one again. It's a little bit, bit green because they've probably had a bit of fertilizer in the soil. But uh, like I said, with the Australian coins, you get the one and two-dollar coins in the fifties. They pretty uh, well, they add up pretty quickly. So anyway, on to the next one. Here's a good coin for you. I just ran the coil over this one. See there? That one hasn't been dropped for too long. Now you can see it's nice and shiny. You got all the all the kangaroos. You've never seen an Australian one dollar coin. This is a called the ruse, or we've got quite a few commemorative ones. But this is what uh, we call the rue dollar. Okay, beautiful coin. It's got uh, what is about the second on the other side. This is 2008, I think. Yep. And the good old Rue dollar. Anyway, I've got while well, I was swinging the coil to, uh, or we'll put the coil down to dig this one, or to pull the grass away from this one. I got another signal, so I'll get stuck into that one too. I'll see you later. Well, that other target that I had near the dollar was a 20 cent coin. So that's another one in the pocket for me. But uh, I think the best I've done at this school was a couple of, oh, about four or five years ago. I think I got $69 in about an hour and 20 minutes. But uh, I had to leave early and so I missed out. But I've been back quite a few times since and got probably at least a couple of hundred more dollars. And uh, but I have written permission to be here, which is good, because if the police arrive and they question me, I've just got to go to the car and produce the letter. So I suggest uh, any of you people out there that want to actually detect at schools, regardless what country you're in, just to be on the safe side, just write to the school, to the principal, ring them up and ask him for his name and the address of the school. And uh, if you're like me, I've probably got as many knocks back as I've got. Uh, you know approvals but it always pays to get approval otherwise okay you can get into trouble and it'd be awful if you uh, had your detector confiscated by the ladies and boys in blue anyway I've got a couple more targets to do and then I'll uh, get ready to go home I'll see you later well I've finished detecting for the day I've got about $13 I think I saved some uh, one and two cent coins there and I don't know what this is off, maybe a helmet off a fairy or something or a baby garden gnome uh, this was a good signal as well and it came up like a two dollar coin but yeah I've got a couple of fifties there, a couple of two dollar coins, some ones and some twenties so I did it right today, I'll go home and I'll actually put them in the tumble because it'll bring the total up now to at least I think nearly a hundred dollars I've got at home I need to tumble because I put the uh, the goldies as we call them, the twos and the ones, in the uh, same container, and all the other ones except the ones and twos they go in the same container. Otherwise, they contaminate each other and they won't come out in their proper colour. Anyway, I'd like to take this opportunity as well just to say thanks to all the people that have uh, asked me how my arm was going. I get the uh, cast off in a, about two or three weeks. I've got a with a thumb. There is right down my wrist. I've got one big plate there with about six humongous screws in it because I injured it a few years ago when I was overseas. And that was in 2001 and it, so I think it's about the third plate I've had in my hand. But uh, the doctors have told me to slow down. I'm 56 now. I've been in the army 34 years and the doctors have basically told me to slow down. I'm getting too old and my wife says I'm not 17 anymore and I have to agree with her because she's always right because she is always right when it comes to my health. So anyway, I'd like just to say thanks very much for all the queries and inquiries about you know how I was going. I really appreciate it. Also, Warren and Colleen, I watched your uh, video last night and I was absolutely glued to the screen. Another fantastic video of uh, metal detecting and uh, looking for gold in North Queensland on the gold fields up here. And I actually hope to get out myself within the next couple of months, but with the work at the moment. Uh, work's very, very busy and uh, I haven't had the time to get away. 
but I hope that changes very soon. Anyway, same with you, Ian, and uh, Willow. I love watching your videos and a few of the other boys. And I had a good laugh at uh, Hugh's uh, hammered coin video the other day as well. A hammered coin in, I think, Virginia, America. But anyway, I'm uh, going home now. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I'm around to make many more. Anyway, all the best, and I'll see you later. Anyway, I picked the coins up, put them in my pocket. It's just starting to walk to the car, and I saw this five cent coin lying in the dirt. And it's been a while since I've detected a five cent coin. Well, I found one staring at me, so I'll take him home as well. So there is a nice Aussie five cent coin. If I can just turn him over, if you can bear with me. It's got the uh, Australian echidna on the back with the five cents. Beautiful little coin. Uh, I've heard it there. They may discontinue these soon because it costs about the, the same, if not a little bit more, to actually produce. So when you think about it, it's really not worth uh, minting them. And I think the same, it's the same for the American one cent coin. Anyway, I'm off. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. Bye.